Hey guys, so today I wanted to go through an exercise for for sizing your cabinet unit heaters for entry vestibules. You can use this for entry vestibules or just standard entryways. Um, some people do this, a lot of people do this different ways. This is the way that I was shown. Um, it's easy and I think it works pretty well. I've never had any problems or people coming back saying they're having issues with their, their vestibules, they're, they're not comfortable. Um, so I guess we'll just get started. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is, is get the square footage of the floor plan for, of your vestibule. Uh, this one here is shown is, is 150 square feet. Um, then you get the ceiling height, which we're going to have here as nine feet. And then the, they use that to calculate the, the room volume. So you multiply those together, you get 1,350 cubic feet is the, the volume of that vestibule. Uh, so up here, the outside air temperature, uh, typically for a day in the Northeast is, is, is 10 degrees, but you really should make that whatever your climactic design outside winter temperature is. Um, but for, for general cases in, in the north, it's about 10 degrees. Um, and then you want to keep your vestibule at a minimum of, of 65 degrees. So the infiltration rate, uh, we're, so we're, the way that we size these cabinet unit heaters, we're, we're sizing based on air change rate for, for infiltration air. Uh, so like you see the below there, for, for a heavy usage. So think uh, your, your main building entries, you want to put in 40 air change rates per hour. Uh, so and then for an occasional use entryway, you would want to use 20 air changes per hour. Um, so this one I, I size for, for 20 air changes per hour because it's not a it's not a main entry point. Um, so then for the calculations down here, you have, like I said, the room volume, the, in, the infiltration airflow is your, your infil infiltration rate, so the 20 air changes per hour, you multiply that by the, the room volume, and then you divide it by 60 to get cubic feet per minute. Um, so that's your, your, your air, your, the outside air coming into the vestibule. Um, and then you use that to find your heat loss. So the heat loss equation is just the standard um, sensible heat equation. So you have um, your infiltration airflow multiplied by 1.08 multiplied by your delta T. So delta T is the outside air temp or the, the vestibule temp minus the outside air temp. So 65 minus 10, and then you divide by, by 1,000 to get um, MBH. And then this is just a, a conversion to kilowatts if you're using an electric unit heater. Um, so yeah, that's a pretty, pretty simple rule of thumb way to calculate your, the size of your entry vestibule cabinet unit heaters. Um, leave a comment below if you have any questions or 